Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at compound predicates. The big idea for this lesson is, is to combine two sentences to form one sentence with a compound predicate. A sentence has a compound predicate when there are two or more verbs or verb phrases in the sentence. For example, in the sentence, the dog catches a ball and brings it back. Who or what is this sentence about? The dog. The dog is the subject of the sentence. What does the dog do? Catches the ball. That is the predicate of the sentence. What else does the dog do? Brings it back. That is also the predicate or verb phrase of the sentence. Since this sentence has two verbs or verb phrases, it is an example of a sentence with a compound predicate. Now let's look at this example. The dog catches the ball and he brings it back. This sentence is not an example of a sentence with a compound predicate. This sentence is an example of a compound sentence because it has two sentences. The dog catches the ball and he brings it back. Because there are two sentences, it has two subjects. The dog is a subject of the first sentence. He is a subject of the second sentence. Again, because this sentence has two complete sentences in one, it is not an example of a sentence with a compound predicate. We're going to look at how to combine two sentences to form a sentence with a compound predicate. Let's look at these two sentences. My mom came home from work. My mom cooked dinner. These sentences have the same subject, my mom but different predicates, came home from work and cooked dinner. To combine these sentences, I can get rid of the second mom and the period after work and insert and instead to make this new sentence. My mom came home from work and cooked dinner. This is an example of a sentence with a compound predicate. Let's look at another example. René went to play outside. René forgot his basketball. Who are these sentences about? René. What did René do? He went to play outside. Forgot his basketball. Remember that to form a sentence with a compound predicate, I cannot have two of the same subjects. I do not want to repeat that. So what I'm going to do to combine these sentences is to eliminate or get rid of the second René and the period after outside and insert the conjunction but instead. This will make this new sentence René went to play outside but forgot his basketball. Now we're going to practice some examples on our own. Let's look at these two sentences. Matthew tried out for the football team. Matthew made it. Pause this video and combine these sentences to form one sentence with a compound predicate. You can write your answer on a sheet of paper. Let's see what the answer is. In these two sentences, Matthew is the subject tried out for the football team, and made it are the predicates. So we can combine these sentences by taking out the second Matthew because I do not want to have the same subject repeated twice. I will also take out the period after team and insert the conjunction and to make this sentence. Matthew tried out for the football team and made it. Let's practice some more examples on our own. Let's look at these two sentences. Cristal made a cake. Cristal decorated it. Pause this video and combine these sentences to form one sentence with a compound predicate. You can write the answer on a sheet of paper. Let's see what the answer is. In these two sentences, Cristal is the subject. Made a cake and decorated it are the predicates. So we can combine these sentences by taking out the second cristal. We are taking out the second cristal because we do not want to repeat the subject. We are also going to take away the period after cake 
and insert the word and to make this sentence. Please, Dad made a cake and decorated it. Let's practice some more examples. Jenna swims in the pool. Jenna splashes in the pool. Pause this video and combine these sentences to form one sentence with a compound predicate. You can write the answer on a sheet of paper. Let's see what the answer is. In these two sentences, Jenna is a subject. Swims in the pool and splashes in the pool are the predicate. To combine these sentences, I am going to take out the second Jenna because there's no need to repeat it and the period after pull. I will also add the conjunction and. Now, I want you to look at these two phrases in the pool. I don't want to write Jenna swims in the pool and splashes in the pool. I don't want to do that because I'm going to be repeating these two phrases. So what I'm going to do is I could eliminate the first phrase to form the sentence Jenna swims and splashes in the pool. That is the correct answer to this sentence. Let's practice combining some more sentences. The cat played with the yarn. The cat chased the laser light. Pause this video and combine these sentences to form one sentence with a compound predicate. You can write the answer on a sheet of paper. For these sentences, the cat played with the yarn, the cat chased the laser light, the subject of the sentence is the cat. The predicates are played with the yarn and chased with the laser light. To combine these sentences, I will eliminate the second cat and the period after yarn. I will add the conjunction and to the sentence. So the answer would then be the cat played with the yarn and chased the laser light. Let's practice another example. Superman can fly. Superman has laser vision. Pause this video and combine these sentences to form one sentence with a compound predicate. You can write the answer on a sheet of paper. For these sentences, Superman can fly and Superman has laser vision, the subject of these sentences is Superman. What about Superman? He can fly and has laser vision. So in these sentences, can fly and has laser vision are the predicates. To combine these sentences, I will eliminate the second Superman and the period after fly. I will add the conjunction and to the sentence to make this sentence, Superman can fly and has laser vision. We learned about predicates. We learned that if two sentences have the same subject, we can combine the sentence to form one sentence with a compound predicate. Thank you everybody for listening.